hello lovely people welcome to my channel this is jedi fro so this is week two of our three months ayurvedic hair growth challenge so this week we are doing hot oil scalp scrub and our deep conditioning mask so um, i'm going to show you guys the process but then since we did the hot oil last week i'm not going to show you that part i'm going to show you the part where i shampooed my hair and then apply the scrub and this time i did not use just white sugar i used another type of sugar so you have to stay tuned if you want to know all right guys let's start mixing so we are starting with our brown sugar scrub add two to three tablespoons of brown sugar or any sugar of choice then add two tablespoons of honey and mix it properly at this point if you don't mix it well it might clump up so make sure you mix it properly this part might take a lot of time so take your time to make sure that your sugar is properly mixed then you go on with your oil you can add any oil of choice or any essential oil of your choice you can add one tablespoon of any carrier oil or five drops of essential oil i prefer using either peppermint or rosemary oil for this moving on i'm preparing my mask i'm adding two tablespoons of jd fro hibiscus and moringa mask into the hot oil treatment that i had left over and then I'm also going to mix that with my hostile extract, which I had from last week. And I added some water to it to spray on my hair for the hot oil. And then together, I'm mixing it with JD Fro Herbal Conditioner. Um, the quantity depends on the length and the density of your hair. So you can add more or less depending on how and how handy you are with product as well. So mix it together and then it's time to apply it on your hair. So from here, I am going to apply it on my hair. But first of all, because I've already done my hot oil treatment, I'm going to first rinse it out and shampoo my hair. I included this part because I wanted to show you guys how I shampoo my hair in section. So to shampoo my hair, I'm using JD Fro Herbal Conditioner. This is this is the conditioner you need for your hair okay applying it in section guys and then after that i gently massage it into my scalp per section if you have a shampoo brush you can use it but i decided don't i decided not to use shampoo brush here because i'm going to use the scrub so i don't want to cause extra tension on my hair so after that i actually took three wash before i could remove all the activated charcoal that was left from my hair last week so now we're moving on to the sugar scrub this is the sugar how it looks after and i'm going to apply it on my hair section by section as well you have to be very very gentle you really don't want to inflame your scalp if you're using a brown sugar it is going to be rough a little bit so make sure you take your time to really apply this the reason why we are using sugar scrub is because sugar is a very good exfoliant it helps to exfoliate the scalp and also the hair but then we are not applying it on the hair it's whatever that is left on the scalp that we extend to the hair okay so don't apply it on your hair guys just focus on your scalp because the aim is to exfoliate your scalp and remove every dead skin there all right and give you a fresh scalp and a fresh environment for your hair to thrive then after that um you move on to applying the mask so what i did in this video was i used one stone to kill two birds because i didn't want to spend a lot of time in the washroom so after applying the sugar scrub on your scalp then you can apply your mask on your hair did you see that formula that was just that so apply the jd fro mask on your hair if you're using any deep conditioner outside from the mask this is also what you will do same process even if you're using only ayurvedic powder apply it on your hair and while the sugar is resting on your scalp so i'm using jd Fro's hibiscus and moringa mask this mask is very very amazing if you guys have been following me for a long time you will know that i always use this mask every wash day because hibiscus is one of the best herbs when it comes to hair growth they condition the hair they help to reduce breakage and they also help to even revitalize the scalp as well so when it comes to hair and hair strength 
hibiscus is one of the things that you would want to look out for and let me not even start with moringa moringa and hibiscus also have a high vitamin c content and if you guys have been following me on instagram i also made an instagram live telling you the tea that we are drinking per day uh, for the week with our msm don't forget that we are taking this along with msm to boost hair growth so um if you're if you're not on instagram if you're not following me on instagram please kindly do so because you'll be missing out if you're not following me every week i give you guys tea recommendation that you have to take along with your msm that way whatever thing that we are putting on our scalp we also take it inside as well so when you are done applying this cover it up and then go and deep condition it with heat you can steam it or not but then make sure that you incorporate heat in one way or the other and then after that my hair was really 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 soft and i enjoyed the whole mask and after rinsing it out completely i am going to proceed with styling my hair for the week so this style came out very very nice so i decided to include this part i actually did a protective style at the back i twisted some and i had some in a tray strand braid okay i did it one 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 it was not a conro but then for the ones that is in front i had to conro them because that was the look that i was hoping to achieve then um i'm going in with my super moisture routine to deeply moisturize the hair while i keep them for one week then within the week all i need to do is to use the spray and probably the oil to massage my scalp and that will be it so what i did was i first of all sprayed my hair with the spray because i needed that um humectant water on my hair and then i followed it up with the cream the oil and then the butter and uh, i used the ayurvedic oil to massage my scalp and then i used the pamelo oil for the rest of my hair i did a twist in front and then i had a braid just like you were seeing in this video i braided the rest of the hair then after that i'm going to show you guys what the final look looks like i really enjoyed this look it was very very simple and so far it has lasted me for like three days without me doing anything and my hair is still moisturized that is why you need jd Frost product guys if you are not using jd Frost product yet so i'm going to allow you guys to enjoy the the video until i review how this look looked like and at this time what i will tell you is if you are not following me please follow subscribe like share this video to one of your friends you don't know who might need it even if you don't need it someone else might need it so make sure that you are subscribed to our channel make sure you're following me on instagram okay i have a lot of videos there which you would definitely like and then also turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any of this video we are going to be posting this video every single week every monday and i go live on instagram every saturday for tea recommendation and what we'll be doing for the week that will be all for this video i am going to see you guys later after the video this is what i achieve how is the style bye bye